I think the great challenge that lies before us in music education, in classical music, in Bands of America, Music for All, College Band Directors, National Association, Midwest Clinic. I think the big challenge that lies ahead of us right now is how do we remain relevant in the world and how do we become relevant for more different kinds of people for whom the kind of music we make is not uh, part of their cultural background uh, or their everyday life. Um, it's an oversimplification to say that classical music uh, is predominantly white. It's an oversimplification to say that bands are predominantly white. But there are so many barriers to participation in these positively life-changing activities that involve socioeconomic status, that involve resources, that involve stability, whether it's at home or in the community or in the schools. And so if we truly believe that our music is universal, if we truly believe that the experiences students have making music and making music collaboratively with others in ensemble settings, if we really believe that those things make the world a better place and make those kids better people, which I do, we got to figure out ways to make that more accessible to more people that aren't currently served by it. It's a really heavy lift. And it's going to take a lot of people doing a lot of little things uh, in order to make any progress in this direction. But, but I think it's something we need to all think about. Are women welcome in this profession? Do girls in high school, middle school, elementary band programs see role models that they can emulate that say to them, I can be like that too? Do people of color see people that look like them? Do people who come from non-traditional or non-Western traditional musical uh, backgrounds feel like there's a means of expression for them uh, that connects to the music that we make. Uh, so we've, that's how we're gonna remain relevant in the 21st century, in a changing world, in a more diverse world, in a world where respect for each other and knowledge of each other and sincere interest in each other is more important than ever. Uh, and I think that's something that, that we as music educators and arts educators and musicians and artists and teachers and students have an opportunity, maybe the best opportunity, uh, to change in the world.